great Tuesday evening to you and to everyone watching from home. And I wish our first story was great news. This, this is but it's not. rattling, quite and honestly. If you're a believer in karma, you might start to think about now, maybe this just isn't supposed to happen. The Browns today placing eight players on the COVID list, meaning they could be out for Saturday's game. They will likely be out for Saturday's game against the Los Angeles Raiders. And the Las Browns? Vegas. Raiders, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I don't want to put them in a different city. <laughs> well, they've been in a few. <laughs> that's true. Hard to keep track of Los everybody. Angeles I mean, they could, be, they could be back to L.A. I don't know. It's only Tuesday. Right? Yeah, that's we, right. we got to get them figured out first. And the Browns are also wow. now in the NFL's enhanced COVID protocols. Right. Here to explain all of it, the voice of the Browns, Jimmy Donovan. Well, this is the worst news you could get yeah. at any time of the season, but specifically at this time of the season with the Browns in a must-win situation right. again and a shortened week. Remember, not a Sunday game. It's a Saturday game. The Browns got rocked today. A number of players, Jay gave you the number, go into COVID protocols. They came up with positive tests, and it is very, very, very unlikely that any of these players will be available coming up on Saturday afternoon afternoon when they play against the Raiders. Here we go. Wide receiver Jarvis Landry, just like last year at the end of the year when he had it happen just before the Jets game, he is on the list. So the Browns lose him. He caught his first touchdown pass of the season last Sunday in the win over Baltimore. And we continue. Browns tight end Austin Hooper also goes on the list into protocols. Hooper caught a touchdown pass last week and remaining at the start of the game. Remember at the start of the game last week he was really their only tight end that they had available for that game because Harrison Bryant was injured and David Njoku was in COVID-19 protocols. Now to the big problem the Browns offensive line recognizes the best offensive line in the NFL when healthy but it's not. Jed Wills the Browns left tackle he goes into COVID protocols, that is a huge problem for the Browns. And we're not done. The best guard in the NFL this year is the Browns right guard, Wyatt Teller. Just a couple of weeks ago, he signed that long-term deal with the Browns, a very rich deal. He goes into COVID-19 protocols, too. And the guy that really had his best game as a Brown last Sunday, Tack McKinley over on the defensive side. He forced a fumble in the win over the Ravens. He was in the Ravens' backfield all afternoon long. And for the first time, you could see the magic of Clowney, Garrett, and McKinley on the field at the same time. He'll likely be out, too. He goes into COVID-19 protocols. JoJo Nets in their kick returner also goes into COVID-19 protocols. Sunday. Unbelievable yeah. play. You're right when he stepped out of bounds on the kick, forcing the ball out to the 40. All right, here we go. The rules are if they are vaccinated, these players, all they would need would be two consecutive days of negative COVID tests, and they would be eligible. But the problem is time right now, mm -hmm. and really, there's only been one player in the NFL who has been able to squeeze under the wire when they've tested positive early in a week. So the Browns right now are going to have to dip into their practice squad and perhaps go to other teams' practice squads to try and find offensive linemen for the game this Saturday and a game that they must win once again. And if they were in good shape health-wise, they would win the ball game. Mm -hmm. But it's very much a question. I'm going to give you the offensive line that I would project right now. The left tackle would become Blake Hans. Mm -hmm. Joel Batonio would be the left guard. Treader would be the center. The right guard would be Michael Dunn. He would come off the bench and play right guard. Mm -hmm. And the rookie, James Hudson, would play at right tackle. Not the offensive line that the Browns would put out there and say, we've got the best offensive line in the NFL. Boy, it's, it, it's one step forward, two steps back with this team. I, I'm always looking for a silver lining. And all I can find here, Jimmy, is it's the Raiders and not the Packers. Yeah. In two weeks, they have to go to Green Bay. Right. So, I mean, possibly they can scratch out a win against the Raiders and hopefully be back to full strength by the time they go to Green Bay on Christmas Day. Well, that's all they need to do. They need to just scratch the game out and get a yeah. win. They'll lean on the running game once again. Now, on the brighter side, remember they had a number of players out last week on COVID-19 protocol. They might get some of those players back for this weekend. And an injured player too, Harrison Bryant, who's had the high ankle sprain. He's going to practice tomorrow. They're hoping that they'll get Greg Newsom back. He's in concussion right. protocol. But they would love to get David Njoku back. He was on COVID-19 protocol. And he has been out there saying, I've had no symptoms at all. So he's beyond a week. And I think that maybe... News tomorrow might be that they could get him back. That would help a great deal. Yeah, it would. It's oh always gosh. something with this club.
just a terrible break, terrible timing. First of all, let's hope the players are okay and they're yeah. not suffering any symptoms, and then we'll move on. And remember now, you know, we have to hope that none of the other players. Well, that's, test, that's you know, I didn't yeah. want to say it, we're but I mean, for the other shoe to yeah. drop. Yeah. The, it's only together. Tuesday. Yeah. They're all together. Yeah. All right, Jimmy, Spend we'll talk to you again in a couple huddle. minutes. All right. Okay. Thanks.